to work to go get stuff for the uh, TV spot. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna get up at 6, walk Rebel to my makeup. Headed to the news station. I'm probably not going to be able to bring you in there, but I'm going to drop that off and then hang around for like three hours uh, on this side of town, and then take this to the pit. All right, here we go. All right, so I just dropped the food off at the news station. So now I got to figure out. For like, see, it's almost nine now. For like two hours, waiting for my mom to get off of work, um, so that she can let me into her house, her house that I lived in for like 23 years. I don't have a key to, so I need to wait for. Well, it's not like they're they changed the lock, like. As soon as I moved out, they changed the lock. Not to keep me out or anything, they just needed new doors and then my dad got new locks and I just never got a key. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just gonna wait. I thought about going to the cactus garden. There's this really pretty cactus garden, like literally right across the street where there's like little critters sometimes. And it's still early enough that they might be out, but it's so hot and humid out right now. My hair is just like so thin so thick and like about to curl so I don't know if I want to trek my ass to the cactus garden in hopes of seeing a chameleon and I probably won't see because they blend in but it's only nine o'clock so not a lot of things are open like department stores and stuff maybe Barnes and Nobles is open and I'm gonna spend a lot of money on books oh I gotta go to PetSmart though because Rebel needs but yeah I'll probably go to PetSmart if they're open go get Rebel some food because he needs it. And then I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so it's like three hours later. I parked my car, I went to PetSmart, I got Ruffles his food, and then I walked down to Barnes & Noble, which was a mistake. This book that I convinced myself that I was gonna get at the library, I bought. Um, but it's a really good book. It's called My Cousin Rachel, and it's by Daphne Dumar. If you have ever read anything by her, like uh, Rebecca, this book is like, like Rebecca, but like 10 times better. So I'm reading that, uh, and then I walk to Einstein Bagels, and I got a bagel and lox, and now, and then I went and saw my mom, when she got off work. And now I'm just waiting for my mom to get to her house. I guess she had to stop and get some wet food for the dogs, because the dogs are spoiled. So that she had to get wet food for the dogs to mix in with their dry food. Because that's what they have for lunch every day. So, it is so hot. I had to pin my hair up because it's so freaking hot and I walked my ass all up and down Henderson today. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just waiting for her. And then I'm gonna take Sid to get her nails cut and then we're gonna go to her doctor's appointment because the groomer and the doctor are like right next to each other. Maybe we can get us in early, which would be great. And I can get back home to Rebel, do some yoga, read some of this book, take a nap. So that's what I'm doing right now. Get the air blasting. Hello Kitty is like freaking out right now. Hello Kitty! Hey bud! You okay? I'm home. Alright? Were you sleeping? 
or did you do something bad? Okay. Okay, so I've been home for a couple of hours now. Rebel and I were hanging out and I just started watching this. Wait, I guess it's a docu-series? Not, I mean, it's in four parts, I guess, on HBO. Dr. Dre and Jimmy, The producer, amazing, like the most amazing producer I've ever worked with everybody, and I don't know his last name. I know Dr. Dre, <laughs> uh, and it's really cool. And so I just, I'm pretty much gonna finish this today. I need to do yoga because I'm doing yoga camp, and I want to finish do my 30 days all in a row. I'm not even doing like usually, typically I do like a couple days off from all exercise, like Friday and Saturday. I usually don't exercise, but I've been sticking with this like consistently, so I want to keep on doing that. So I watched one and a half episodes of this. Hopefully by the end of this episode, I'll get my 45 minutes of yoga in, and then it's like right back to this because I want to finish this today. It's like so interesting. Michael said that he's already watched episode one, so I want to see what happens. So yeah, I just got off the phone with Michael. He's going to fly from Shanghai to Beijing. Beijing? That's where it is? I don't know. We'll, we'll check that. And uh, go see the Great Wall of China. Which, um, I'm jealous of. Not as jealous as if he was gonna go to Disneyland, Shanghai. Then I would be like, sitting here sulking, but he decided he wanted to go see like some culture. I'm excited for him that he's gonna go do that. So yeah, I'm gonna edit this video and, well, I'm gonna watch the rest of this docu-series and then try and edit this video. My hair is up again. Like, I've had it pinned up all day because it's just so, it's so hot right now. Um, I just can't stand it. And I don't know how I did it last year. I don't feel like my hair was this long last year. So it's more like shoulder length, I guess. Well, yeah, not shoulder length. Uh, but I'm excited because Friday, I'm having Raquel cut my hair off. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please click the like button down below. If you like this video, give it a like. If you didn't like this video, give it a dislike. Please subscribe.